It is Monday morning, and on this episode of Business Search, if I should even call it an episode in Business Search, I'm not sure what I'm calling this whole thing, but it's basically where I run through the business listings that have gotten emailed to me recently from bizbuysell.com for matching my criteria, and I have a little discussion on the business and share my kind of insight and anecdotes on what I think about the business. So whatever we call that, this Monday morning, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. In the previous times that I've done this, I just kind of open up my email and go through them until I find some interesting ones. Well, I've already done that part because there's a lot of time just wasted scrolling through email. Well, I've done that part. I've found some interesting businesses here and I'm gonna run through them and discuss them right now and maybe contact some of these brokers. The first one is Outstanding Humboldt County Equipment Rental Company. Uh, asking price 2.8 million, cash flow $700,000. It's a 4X multiple, but the actual multiple on earnings is probably a little bit lower because they've probably got a very high asset base for the size of this business. That's common in these equipment rental businesses. So let's read this here. In business since 1998, Just Rented Inc. is located in the heart of the Redwoods in Humboldt County, California. The store is just off Highway 101 in the Garberville slash Redway area, specializes in homeowner and contractor equipment. Our rental fleet has a large variety of excavators, skid steers, dozers, trenchers, trailers, man lift, forklift, splitters, and more. If you are looking for a rare, affordable equipment company with great equipment, excellent cash flow, a leader in its market with a lot of cash business, this is it. We specialize in represent, representing equipment rental companies, qualified buyers, inquire. Um, building square foot, 5,000 square foot, FF in E. 2.675 million what, furn fixtures, furniture, and equipment. I'm, that number just seems high to me. But I'm maybe, you know, maybe I'm entirely wrong. I'm not really that familiar with the rental equipment space. Um, 5,000 square foot, eight employees. Okay, so it's not, you know, a sole owner kind of running things. Outstanding custom rental facility on over an acre with an additional acre across the street for additional storage and future growth. Okay, nearly 2.4 million of equipment at first cost. All right, so that's probably where they're getting that number from. Including delivery vehicles, well-maintained inventory, over 900,000 of equipment purchased, new and added since 2018. Also offers contractor merchandise for sale in the attractive showroom. Serving landowners in the legal marijuana trade as well as contractors and homeowners. Just Rented Inc. has virtually no competition in its market. Sunbelt is 45 minutes north. In Fortuna, that is the closest competitor. No salesman. The company is well known and established only word of mouth marketing. The company can use and utilize more skid steers, mini excavators, lifts, immediately could easily add a store in Fortuna and excellent and growing market. Okay, so there's some room to expand there. Owners are willing to stay on for up to six months. Tenor employees have been with the company for years, will stay on and continue in their roles. Uh, so this seems like a pretty straightforward equipment rental business. It seems like a very nice one. Their facility looks nice here. I am curious what the deal on the real estate is. It says real estate NA. So are they factoring in a lease? Real estate owned, but it doesn't say that it's included in the asking price like inventory. And there was no other details. Uh, this thing seems interesting. Seems like something worth inquiring about to sort out and figure out what's up with the real estate. I'm particularly curious in that. But I like the equipment rental business as it is basically a return on assets type of business. There's not a lot of growth and marketing and that type of stuff that goes into it. I mean, yes, that is a factor, but that's a much smaller uh, percentage of things. What the big factor in these types of businesses are is simply how well you can handle the numbers and how well you manage the finances. Can you get new equipment and increase the rental price of the new equipment and negotiate, you know, possibly a better lease term on the equipment or buy it at a better interest rate or get a discount, you know, something like that. There's a lot of the, the improvement, it seems to me, is made up in the numbers. And that's why I like these equipment rental businesses. Next up is a Lee slash dry cleaner, full plant and shirt laundry. Okay, so I didn't know if this was a laundry mat or what when I first opened it. The dry cleaner is located in Worcester County in an upscale community, well-established dry cleaner with the same owner for 20 years. The, career, the cleaner has a full plant with a shirt laundry, full tailoring and alteration. Uh, the size is 2,000 square foot with great exposure. 
So, all right, so right now I'm kind of losing interest in this, particularly as I'm seeing full tailoring and alteration, $250,000 in revenue, cash flow, one hundred fifty. dollars So you got to get somebody in there that knows how to tailor and alter, right? And okay, so employees, one, uh, this probably means it's the owner operator doing the tailoring and altering. I'm not interested in learning how to do tailoring and altering. So I'm not interested in that. Dog daycare and boarding facility. 650 cash flow, 250 rent, 3425. Uh, this is interesting. Well established dog daycare and boarding facility. We've been serving the local area for nine years, fully staffed with everything in place. This is a turnkey operation. Current owners will tra train during the transition period of up to uh, a period up to three to six months if needed. Tap into one of the fastest growing and most profitable businesses, the pet industry, with a great location and established clientele. All you need is a love for dogs and a desire for adventure. Remember, or we are, gosh, I can't read this morning, at least not this one. We are a premier dog daycare and boarding facility offering uh, hours of playtime for our daycare and boarding clients. The business routinely ranks as the top boarding and daycare facility in the area. It comes fully staffed with well-trained employees and standard operating procedures. 2021 revenues are already meeting and exceeding pre-COVID levels. The commercial property associated with this business is leased with the opportunity to purchase from landlord if desires. Please note it's a confidential matter. Okay. It's in Ohio. Goes on to say on the facilities, the building is 7,000 square foot with approximately 4,000 square foot of indoor play area and 3,300 outdoor play area. So is the building itself 4,000 square foot or 7,000? I'm not sure. There are 33 kennels in the large dog sideboarding area with 19 of those able to handle multiple family dogs. The small dog kennel room has 19 individual kennels. The approximate max capacity for boarders is 80. There are eight overflow large kennel crates for use if necessary. There's a grooming salon that would uh, with enough space that would allow for two groomers. We currently have a part-time groomer and 13 staff member. The market for dog daycare and boarding is growing with good stability. Due to the great location with access to the interstate, continued demand will is expected. There are three to five dog kennels located within a 10 mile radius of our facility but only one other facility that offers both daycare and boarding. There is room for financial growth in the market, specifically the grooming and food retail sector. We have not reached the maximum growth. Um, and the reason for selling, they need to focus on another church, another business, essentially. Established in 2013, so this thing is nine years old at this point. They're asking 650 grand, which is less than a 3x multiple. So I mean that seems like a that seems like a very fair multiple for this type of business and I do know that these things are really growing rapidly and shockingly. Uh, I know that there is a Camp Bow Wow in Naples and that thing is just like totally full and booked like they're turning people away. <laughs> so maybe I should do a dog daycare right here in Naples. This is an interesting business. I do like it. Uh, that said North Canton, Ohio is probably not going to be a place I really want to jump into and move. So I'm not going to inquire on it, but definitely I think an interesting and noteworthy business. Up next, we have an e-commerce and niche product manufacturing. Established in 2014, that's one of the first things I always go for when it's an online business. Like how resilient is this thing and how long has it been around? Uh, asking price 649 on 251 of cash flow. So it's a very low multiple. This is a niche product manufacturing e-commerce business with an impressive history of high volume sales and strong cash flow. Sales up almost 20% in 2021. This company produces top of the line products that are sold to customers around the world from their professionally built e-commerce platform that is second to none. The machinery and equipment utilized by the well-trained employees enables the company to produce highly customizable products which are very popular with customers and also profitable for the company. Machinery and equipment conservatively valued at $375,000. Inventory value at cost of $65,000. Okay, so they're manufacturing something clearly. When I first read this, I was thinking maybe they outsource manufacturing, but it seems like they're doing manufacturing in-house. Nine employees located in Tucson, Arizona. 
Otherwise, the information on this thing is very vague. It's something I'd like more information on because I like e-commerce products where you actually have the competitive advantage of, well, owning the brand, but possibly also manufacturing it. And so, I, you know, I guess it's kind of questionable there whether the manufacturing is actually a competitive advantage or not, right? Maybe you could outsource the manufacturing for cheaper than what it costs to actually run it. I don't know. Maybe that's something they've looked at, probably, because uh, they've got the cash flow. But if you were getting... It seems like you're getting the you're getting the machinery and equipment in here at three hundred seventy five thousand dollars, which would be good. I mean, it's probably depreciated, right? You couldn't just sell it for three hundred seventy five thousand dollars at this point. But in most e commerce businesses, it's strictly a multiple of cash flow. Here, you get the machinery and the equipment. That that seems pretty straightforward. This seems like something worth seems like something worth inquiring on. Um, you know, one thing I'd be very interested in is how relocatable is it? And could the machinery or not the ma machinery and equipment, but the manufacturing be outsourced? So we don't need the ma machinery and equipment and all that stuff. This is an interesting business. Okay. Profitable growing turnkey filter environmental kitchen solutions. All right. So when I see filter, first thing I think is franchise. Cause I don't, it seems like a brand, but I don't really know what it is. Recurring revenue model and flat royalty fees. Okay, it's a franchise. Since 1996, Filta has been providing cooking oil microfiltration service around the world to restaurants and other food establishments. I have no clue what the hell microfiltration service is. Filta's green services naturally preserve the environment by extending the life of cooking oil with the Filta Fry service turning waste oil into biodiesel. With Filta Bio and reducing energy consumption and food waste with Filta Cool. Okay, that was all, that was all one sentence. I'm seriously not reading good this morning. Filta's 150 franchises service 7,000 customers every week. Some little more information, I guess, about the product. Customers realize more than ever the many benefits to being gained from our services because it helps save money, create a safer work environment, provides businesses with the tools to improve their products, and plays a role in preserving the environment. Filta provides highly skilled and trained Filta fry technicians. Uh, customers obtain all-inclusive filter fryer management. The Baltimore area franchise was founded in 2015. Business runs from a commercial office space. It's interesting. I would like to know more about the filter the cooking oil filter business. I don't know anything about it. And for that reason, I'm probably not too interested in this one. And finally, established brand of golf clubs, clubs 100% online sales, 75% margins. Holy shit, let's print money. Uh, and it's priced for that $5 million on a cash flow of $1,083. Established 1995. Okay, so this thing's been around a while and it's 100% online sales. It's very, very rare to see online businesses more than five years old. It's even more rare to see them at 10 years old. This thing is close to 25 years old. Actually, it is over 25 years old at this point. Retiring founder, it's been the same person. This business sells its own brand of golf clubs via its website and is run 100% online. Company founder is retiring. This is an excellent opportunity for a younger individual to acquire proven successful e-com business in the booming sport of golf and achieve remarkable, remarkable growth opportunities or achieve remarkable growth by adding online marketing strategies. The brand's golf clubs are proprietary designs with patented technologies sold directly to the end users via the brand's website with all orders fulfilled by a three-party facility. Third-party logistics is what they're talking about here. 2.1 free cash flow, 1.2 million. So why is that that higher? If current year sales are 2.1, why is that higher? If it's 75% margin, um, pr oh, product margin. So the gross profit margin is, well, they're calling it product margin and 75% margins. Um, they're talking about gross profit. So after there's some expenses, which look to be about 10% or so, yeah, right? little over 10%, maybe like 12 or 13%. 
the free cash flow is 1.23 million. Um, this proven 26 year golf equipment brand has grown via word of mouth popularity for its quality and reputation, patent technologies, e-commerce site product line, along with its many other highly leverageable assets. It is now available and poised with great potential for growth. Once transferred into the hands of someone familiar with online marketing and the popular marketplaces like Amazon, your acquisition includes a golf brand with an extensive line of proven golf equipment liked by over 50,000 customers and growing designs that perform well, improve golfer scores, fetch high margins and have higher return rates, much lower than industry average custom e-commerce website, providing a clean presentation uh, automatic in, automated integration slash engagement forms for website visitors designed to collect emails and drive product purchases, fully set up and smooth third-party fulfillment facility in the USA. Operating for more than 26 years in the golf industry, this company has made a name for themselves. Now this proven and streamlined e-commerce business with tremendous margins, customer satisfaction, and steady cash flow is ideally set to provide a new internet savvy owner with a strong foundation. Um, ready to be expanded into high growth possibilities by using the modern online sales slash marketing channels, which are outside the founder's scope of expertise, such as internet campaigns, social media, synergistic partnerships, all this. So, I mean, this seems like a really good online business here at a good multiply. You know, it's not often that you see a 25 year old online business. And I think at a five X multiple, that is incredibly, incredibly fair for the asking price. Uh, this this kind of throws me a curveball here. The cash flow at 1.08 million, so a million dollars, and the EBITDA, earning before interest, taxes, depreciation, amortization, is only five hundred forty thousand dollars. So, what what's up with that? You know, why is there such a difference between cash flow and EBITDA? That's something I'd be curious to find out. But it sounds like here this is an owner, or it is the owner founder. I think they said. He's been around for a while. If he founded this company in 96, he's clearly an older guy, much older than myself at 31 years old, almost 32. I'll be 32 in like two weeks. I can't fucking believe it. But uh, he's clearly an older dude, so he probably hasn't spent much time investing into the modern, I don't want to say the modern, but the newer online marketing platforms that kind of alludes to that down here, like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. So there could be huge, huge opportunities there. So this is definitely something I'd be interested in and something I'm going to inquire on. So that's a wrap, guys, on this episode. If you have any questions or thoughts on these businesses, drop them in the con or drop them in the comments below the video. Uh, and likewise, if you're interested in them and want to inquire on them, simply just kind of Google this name right here. Type this into Google, and these listings should pop right up. Hope you guys found that insightful. I'm signing off on this one.